You look like a midget. I'm a midget! Hello! Sasha, how everybody? Hello, Sasha, how? It's not morning. Sasha, how many? Sasha, how are you? It's time to do the couples chat. What are you on? You're not part of the couple system. But he's part of the three Family musketeers. System. Three musketeers. Yeah. So, let's start. 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 A couple talk video. Unfortunately, if any talk involving him has to be done in English. I have a viewer that sent me a message from Instagram. Uh, it's about how does a couple make sure they get on very well with each other. <laughs> and because she thinks we get on very well with each other, yeah. right? We do get on very well with and each other. And then she wants to. Asked me if I could talk about uh, what would be the best method to avoid a big argument or big uh, fight. Avoid big arguments, big fights. Okay. So you want to start? So this is actually a two-part question. One is how do people get on maybe better or well with each other? With the other partner, one is with that a with a partner. And the second part of the question is. Is that if there's any way or any method you can use to avoid arguments and uh, avoid friction, basically? Yeah, friction. That was the word she used. Okay, so it is important for us to start by saying that whatever we say here, it is our own personal opinion, our own life experience, uh, uh, within our own relationship. It makes sense. may not work for, for others, other people, but it worked for yeah, for you. me, and for obviously me. the yeah. way you behave and react to things works for you as well. Yeah. So you want to start on the first question, on the first part of the question. <laughs> Rock and roll, it, baby. <laughs> Sure, if we get on very well with each other, no, we, get on we fight with all the time. We always have arguments, mm -hmm. don't we? We always yes. fight and <laughs> argue. The problem is, I think, is this is the problem with the YouTube, right, uh -huh. or with the online persona, is that you people don't see the the hundred percent of your uh, your life. They see a, a part of your life and maybe it's the happy moment. Usually mm. we do vlogs, we go now, we eat, mm. celebration. Things are happening, are going, you know. Mm. They see the best part of our interaction. If we fight, okay. I'm not going to so, film anything. Well, yes, not because at that particular moment you are probably not with the camera on. Yeah, yeah so that, that's the thing is when people don't see the bad part and yes. the problem part of your yes. life they assume this is all your life but so so, sometimes okay so now let me so sometimes uh, we do argue a lot uh, normally let's say that 90 percent of the arguments start with lean um, i give you a short example just three I'm days like ago like those dogs that just pick a fight without all the yes, other dogs yes yes which for me sometimes is out of the blue you get me? But that comes from we being two different uh, human beings, two different people with two different ways of thinking. One is a woman, one is a man. So there are so many things that, uh, you know, that are different. Um, but let me just give you an example. Literally, three days ago, we went and take care of some paperwork. So we had an appointment to go and take care of the paperwork. And I told Lynn, I fancy a bit talk. So we're going to go and have lunch, uh, go a little bit earlier, have lunch out, uh, and uh, then we're going to uh, handle the paperwork. A bitok is a bitok Portuguese is a Portuguese dish steak, uh, on steak top of rice uh, and on, chips, with rice, chips, and, and, a, and a fried egg. And yeah. a fried egg. Mm. So that's what I told her I'm going to have. And Lynn told me that uh, she can also have one. So it's fine. Good. So we went. And uh, unfortunately, the city we went to did not have many cafes downtown that were serving uh, bitok. So we walked a little bit, and she says, she turns around to me and says, I don't want to walk anymore. So I say, Okay, so let me check this restaurant, see if they do bitok. So I asked the waitress, and she told me, Don't do bitok, but we do bifa portuguesa, which is very similar. Um, I say, Okay, so they do, fine. So we sat down and uh, Lynn, for whatever reason, 
decided to go for to uh, to ask uh, uh, what, what did you ask? I wanted a, a prom result. <laughs> so we decided that we both were gonna have the talk. Then Lynn in the restaurant as we sat down turns around and says that she wants a It three... says on the menu prom risotto. Hold on. A horse the yes. Marisco! Shrimp resort, uh, risotto. Marisco, right? Uh, uh, so the woman takes the order. Camera, camera. 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 So the woman takes the order, so uh, beef up together for me, which is same as a bitok, and uh, a risotto, a prawn risotto for Lynn. Two minutes go by, the waitress comes back to the table and says, I am, and she was literally like this, I am truly sorry, but we do not have a, a shrimp risotto. Uh, is there anything else on the menu that you may would like to, to have, like octopus a la grace, something else uh, from the sea, apart from the shrimp, because we do not have shrimp uh, in the kitchen today. So Lynn throws a fit, uh, and says that no, they don't have shrimp risotto, I'm eating nothing. The woman in panic, uh, you want to speak with your wife, just see if she really does not want anything, maybe even the, the steak, same as you. <coughs> I ask Lynn, she says, I don't want nothing. And she grabs the phone and starts looking at the phone, and I say, yeah, I still have my steak, please. So the woman goes away to order my steak, or to process my steak order, uh, and asked Lynn, why didn't you have the, the bitok? Originally we are supposed to go for a bitok. Uh, and you just decided now to have a shrimp risotto. And uh, she's saying, you know how much is the bitok here? You know how much is the bitok here? It's I 20 didn't say euros. Bitok. Yeah, the, the, the steak is 20 euros. It's 20 euros. Which bitok normally in Portugal would be around 8 euros. 10 euros now. 8. Uh, 10 it's euros. a cafe food. Okay, never mind. Uh, I say, yeah, it's 20 euros, but just uh, this is a proper restaurant, it's not a cafe, so just have the steak. No, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want. Okay. Uh, is she taking the order for the drinks? I want some drinks. I want to drink something. So I asked the woman to bring the drinks. I didn't water. say that. Uh, I said she didn't even ask you, what are you drinking? Yes, okay. So I never said any of those words. You're making like shit that. up. But no, you said it in a different way, but you said But that's a different, a different meaning. The, that the one is, I want to drink water. The other one, she asks us if we want to drink water. It's two different things. Okay. So the woman did not take the drink, the, the, the drink order. I called her, I asked the two waters. Lean always with a tremendous mood. The steak came, I ate the steak. She was always on the phone. Uh, not speaking to me, the doggy was sitting uh, on the on the I on the seat on the side. I finished my steak. I asked the bill. Uh, she brought the bill, uh, and she told me uh, 16 euros. Or and then I asked her, so how much was the steak? And she said the steak's 14 euros, 13 euros. And I say, and uh, so I thought. So it's 13 euros or 20 euros, but Lynn looked at the grilled beef and uh, I had the beef a portuguesa. Um, so there was a big uh, difference in the price uh, that Lynn saw on the menu and the beef that I requested. Um, so in the end, all the way to the appointment, Lynn was in a tremendous mood which she drains my own energy. Whenever she's in a super moody, uh, it, it drains me out um, quite a bit. So it is very hard on me uh, as her partner. So, after the, the meeting, uh, everything went very well. We both walked out in a good mood and the moment passed. But this is how we can have an argument, a short argument uh, for something extremely silly that uh, for me would not be an argument at all. But Lynn just makes it, uh, and then with her attitude, just makes it uh, very heavy. So it, it depends on, uh, okay. on the couple. You're done with the storytelling? I'm done with the storytelling. Yeah, we actually, this shit happened the other day and we never sat down and talk about timeline, yeah? 
talk about what truly happened from my perspective, from his perspective. This is the story he's telling from his perspective. From my perspective, I we booked this appointment to take care of my paperwork two months ago. Two months ago, this appointment was booked. We went to the local office in the city. We don't know where it is. Yeah, we we don't live in that. Forty minutes drive from where we live. So it's appointment to me is an important appointment. Yeah, and then I told him just go by yourself. Why do we have to take the dog? Long time ago, he told me no, but I want to take the dog and let the dog have a look. We have a day out and I'll use a bit talk in in Lydia. Right? That's what he said. I said, but this is an important document going to a government office. I don't want to take a dog. Where are we going to put the dog? Dog can stay in the car. Didn't you say that? And he said, in the what car. happened? We got there, right? Took the dog. Went there like a few hours early, like three hours early or something. Two and a half hours. Walk the dog uh, in the city, check where the office is. And I said, okay, now it's time for, uh, for lunch. We need to, because we are with the dog, we had to look for a restaurant that has a table outside. So already the choice was limited. I don't want to walk like a fucking idiot in a strange city. I said just pick a restaurant because Bitok is so simple. All Portuguese restaurants serve Bitok. Cafes and all of them. It's not a, a difficult dish. So pick any restaurant because all you want is the Bitok. Let's eat. He picked a restaurant right next to the square, which is like city center square. Go in, sat down, the woman came with the menu, says B-talk on the fucking menu. We sat down with the dog and we ordered two B-talk. And she came back and said, oh, no B-talk. I was thinking, what? You don't have? What other things you have? Later on, baby, baby pig. pig, baby pig. So and I said to Ugu, are you sure you must eat a B-talk? That's what I said to him. He said, I need to have a B-talk. Okay, so we then that we cannot eat in this restaurant. We said sorry. We got up. We kept on walking. The problem with it, Google when he walks is that if you want to eat food, don't you Google take your phone, Google restaurant near me, and see which is the one that's closest and go there. He doesn't walk like that. He take a dog. He just like crippling over like like this crippling. You know, you know he still has the problem, fucked up legs, right? Cripple in the city and then try to look for a random whatever restaurant and hoping they will sell the bee talk he wants to eat. I was behind him with him and the dog, yeah, walking along and th there was no restaurant in, in sight. Doesn't want to check anything, just want to walk around, walk around. Ah, my fucking appointment is booked at 2 o'clock. I have a timeline to keep. I have, I'm on a deadline. And then I said, okay, just pick any restaurant, pick a random restaurant. Saw a restaurant, went in. So the, the first one was like those uh, local food, uh, like a menu the dia kind of place, yeah. like the cafe. They don't have bitok. talk. They don't. Uh, no bitok. talk. No way. Carry on walking. Continue fucking shitting me right now. And then finally found the restaurant. And the lady said, we have. Beef up together. Yeah. That is like an equivalent of bitok. talk. I thought, okay, just eat that shit. It's all because of him. Sit down. I checked the menu. They have the risotto, the the prawn. I thought, okay. Then I want to eat the prawn risotto. Bitok was not my first choice. If it's a cafe, I eat the bitok because it's the the best dish in the cafe's menu. Usually it is. So if it's not a cafe, it's a restaurant. Why am I fucking eating cafe food in the restaurant? I want to eat the risotto. The thing is, as soon as she came back, tells me we don't have risotto. And I was thinking, seaside city, silver coast, the ocean's right next to you, huh? And you are a restaurant, you tell me you don't have uh, enough ingredients to make a prawn risotto. Is this a tourist trap? Is this restaurant a tourist trap? And I thought, okay, then I don't want anything. I don't want to eat anything. And I know Ugu said, I can walk out and look for another restaurant. I was thinking, what the fuck? I'm not going to let you walk out of this restaurant, look for another restaurant. Do you know how much time I have left before my appointment? No, sit here and eat your beef up, uh, beef up together. Beef up, put together, put together. Eat that shit. I'm not having that. I'm not having the prime risotto. I'm not having anything. I'm gonna sit here and see you eat, and you finish your food, and then we can go get on with our day and do our business. And he goes, hey, give me this attitude, make me feel bad. 
you know you've been doing this shit for me for years. Every time I do something important, I'm going out, you, mama sit as well. Oh, we, we must bring the dog, we need to do it. Do you know how limiting it is to bring the dog? I, for a few hours, Aaron, there was no need to bring the dog, you get me? Keep the dog at home, we go out to ourselves, and I don't get stressed, have to think about what happened to the dog in the end, one week before we went to the appointment, we have to shove him in the car, in the garage, in the like a paid parking, and just left him behind like that. And then the dog was in the car for like two hours, two hours and an hour, and then for, for us to run towards our appointment, run literally. We arrived there 30 minutes to go, with 30 minutes to spare, so it did not run. So we arrived you see, 30 minutes before our appointment time. You see, the same thing, how each other's different perspective, in my mind, that's how I, I have everything, how it went down. In his mind, that's how it went down. So there's something that uh, I'm not happy with that created my, my result. I wanted to have that argument, throwing that fit. There was something he was not happy about, my behavior, and he was... Ah, but I was okay. Shut the fuck up. Why do you talk about it here if you were okay? No, I'm just explaining. Uh, no, my point here was just to give an example on a. Because you, are trying, small you are trying to say everything starts because I am problematic. 90% of the small arguments we have starts with Lynn's. Okay, so what a fit. Try to avoid the continuing whenever she starts an argument. I'll just keep quiet mm. as much as I can mm. because sometimes she just keeps on going and I need to reply. Uh, but <laughs> it's true and I need to reply but I'll just keep it quiet as much as but I can. Let me explain to you. You, you actually just said something very important. Uh -huh. I don't know if there are viewers out there like me and have similar personality I, that I have. I absolutely hate when he keeps quiet and then just hoping I forget about it <laughs> suddenly amnesia, the temporary amnesia I suddenly oh, I forgot what I was talking it is about not amnesia. He's, he's say hoping that he is like this, this uh, word like do not engage, do not respond, do not uh, you know those kind of uh, tactics to, to people and hoping they will just go away but I'm the kind of people that actually gets triggered if he behaves like this and I think that creates more bad things for coming from the emotional things coming from my end and then that does not end an argument. This attitude starts an argument with someone like me. And all these years I have been explaining to him that's why we have this argument. We had that argument and he doesn't understand why. You, but now you should understand why. But it's also because uh, uh, Habi is a lot more uh, chill than easygoing. Uh, so towards, why would anybody... Towards, uh, towards uh, problems in life, I see them uh, in different ways. So whatever is a problem for Lynn may not be a problem for me. Or it will not escalate to the, the level that is affecting Lynn. Same as sometimes a problem that it is a problem for me may not be a problem for Lynn. She sees it in a, in a different, uh, with a different uh, rationality. She rationalizes my problem in a different way. Rationality? Yeah, you rationalize whatever problem I'm bringing over to you in a different way and vice versa. Sometimes Lynn brings out a, a problem, which seems to be a problem for her, but when I listen to the problem, in my mind, it is no problem at all. The difference is that she does not let it go. She'll just keep on and on and on and on and on and escalates into a worked up situation that I think, what the fuck, man? This stuff, why the fuck are you having a go? Or why are you upset? Or why are you a moody? This is such a simple thing to deal with. Uh, you make me sound crazy. But, but it is what it is. It is you, it's you, not, you, not, you, not about being crazy. Wait, 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 wait. <laughs> go on, go on. Go on. I said you make me sound crazy. Uh, you said it is what it is. Are you trying to say you are crazy, bitch? No, the, the, you see, that is what you hear. Uh, that that's what, what you literally said. I did, no, I didn't say that. I didn't say that. Look, I have a problem. You rationalize it your own way. I bring it up. You rationalize it your own way. We talk about it. 
and I, I am make sense of it. That's it. Finish. No more problem. The day goes on, happy, happy, no problem. I think And she is the opposite. I think in she, summary she brings a problem, I rationalize it. And I just think there is no problem over there. And she just goes fucking ballistic. <laughs> Shut up. Go on. Let me speak up. Go on, speak. So in conclusion, well, I don't think we have anything to teach anybody when of it comes course. to when it comes to how to get on well with each other. We don't get on that well with it with each other. We get on super think, well with each other. I think we made a tremendous amount of effort over the years to accommodate, <laughs> to tolerate the, each other, basically yeah. like that. Um, because we, we are very, very different people. You know, although I was educated in, in UK and then I spent many, many, many years living in a foreign country in a way, mm -hmm. but I still am not Portuguese. They, were, they are very traditional value and culture within him that is very, very different uh, compared to mine. It be purely based on upbringing, you know, the family and how, what kind of a belief we were injected when we were a child. So there are many things you cannot change. You can kind of, uh, yeah, I think the word is tolerate, kind of tolerate and then the existence of that, uh, that belief but just because you can tolerate doesn't mean you are okay with it or you're happy about it. You still have argument whenever trigger things happen. There is still argument between me and him. And then, but he's more. Uh, his personality is more softer than my personality. So he's he a lot. When a lot of time there is a differences, he he doesn't speak. You know, he's like I keep it to himself. So I come across as someone who's always having a problem because I'm the one who has a lot shorter uh, what do you call it my threshold is a lot lower uh, when it comes to certain things I cannot take it as much as he can take it so there are things I will first have a problem with and it will take him forever to start you know even talk about it and consider it as an issue so we always end up in this kind of an argument due to me having a, a problem or having a goal. Yes, your threshold is a lot lower than mine. Uh, I can tell you as well an example. An um, example? Why you have to have an example? No, 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 not if, uh, but for example, when it is about money, uh, her threshold is very short. So I can... Are you calling I can, cheap? No, I can withstand now. Not cheap. I'm saying that uh, if it is important financial decisions that we need to make together, yeah, uh, my risk level is a lot higher than Lin's. So, uh, which w would make... Make uh, me a more conservative... Uh, uh, more conservative, yeah. So the risk level, I tolerate a lot more than you do. Mm -hmm. uh, making uh, this is a, a very in a in a couple's relationship can be a problem. Um, Money is a big uh, problem. Yeah. Yes. So because I will take a risk, which for her will be very hard to understand or to accept. Uh, so she will get worked up on it, but. In Lynn's mind, she cannot accept my rationale on this. On this, so this can also cause an argument. Makes sense. So it, ha it has to do with the, yeah, with the personalities. Uh, mm. But despite uh, we making this video about arguments, uh, we bond with each other in a lot of different ways. So the the good moments way outweigh the bad moments in our life as a couple, hence why we are together for just shy of 15 years. Uh, the, the, the moments I have with Lynn that are special to me or within our relationship outweigh by a tremendous amount the arguments, small or big, that we have. And I can cope with her little uh, regular uh, bursts of uh, insanity. You mean like he's okay with a little bit of crazy once in a while, but not crazy all the time, right? Yes, yes. So you call me crazy? No. 
I call you insane. Insane wait, wait, of the wait. membrane. And then the second part of the ah, question okay. is there. So, first part clear? Yeah. You have some. Kind of. I don't okay. know. I think it maybe yes, maybe not, depending on the person. Is. I hope it is. Second part is is any good way to avoid any friction and big argument? Uh, okay. I think it depends on what kind of friction and argument we are talking about. Mm. Yes. Uh, well, yeah. How big is the, the argument or how big is the fight? For example, when we talk about fighting, is not fighting punching. You get me? We don't uh, do that. But I do know there are uh, relationships uh, where there is violent, uh, violence between the couples. A serious violence, yeah? Um, then I do not know how to handle that. For me, nobody if, talked about anything violence. Why is that? What you've been thinking? You want to hit me in the face? No, no. You remember the other day you said you want to practice boxing with me, and I said to you, why? You want to hit me but in the face? That's because there was that couple. <laughs> I asked you that because there was that couple in the park, uh, like practicing uh, boxing, fighting with each other. No, we're not practicing. If if we were, I'll be hitting you, <laughs> not the other uh, way around. Okay, so in those type of relationships. It's better for you just to pick up your things and walk. Walk away, baby. Mm. But, uh, but either it's the woman hitting the guy or the guy hitting the woman. The one that is getting hit, pick up your things and walk. Smile and wave, boys. Smile and wave. Just pick up and go. Okay. Um, and the, the, the part, sorry. Now I got confused. With the, <laughs> I don't I know what you were saying. The, no. How to avoid? And how to avoid? Uh, my way, for example, to avoid, it is not a good way, as we just spoke earlier on, or how Lynn explained earlier on, is because I just shut up and just listen and just let her have a burst of uh, aggressivity, uh, her throw her feet. Uh, but no, does not always work because sometimes by me not speaking and just let her have a go, uh, she gets even more worked up. So then we end up with a little argument, she gets moody, doesn't talk to me for like an hour or two. If I come in and kissy kissy, da, 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 playful already, she, I don't want, I don't want, I don't want. And then I try again an hour later and then, I don't want, I don't want. But eventually she gives in and uh, okay, it just passes, 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 already gone. Uh, how do you deal with the... Uh, you mean how to avoid it? How yeah. to avoid it. If you are with a person for more than five years, for more than five years, yeah, you pretty much know enough of this person that what things can trigger them and what things really... Yes touches their core fear and then, you know something that's truly offend them you know like truly make them feel touch the uncomfortable, touch all the angry you know basically that so if you have enough understanding of the other person like what truly you know make them upset or make them angry angry or make them argumentative and then it's up to you to decide, do you want to touch the beast? Do you want to poke the bear? Do you really want to do it? Is it worth it? What's going on at the moment? You understand? It's, it becomes a decision. And to me, from my end to Wu's end, from my end to his end, if I know this is subject, he's very sensitive and then he it can have a problem. If I want to speak about what I believe in, I have choice. I either don't talk about it at all, just shut up, just move on, you know, suffer. If I'm not happy, I just swallow it. Or I pick a time that is right for my argument and talk about it with him. And it's, it's more about getting a job done, in my opinion when it comes to certain things that I believe in, I want you to see my end of the, the story. It's more about, to me, is getting a job done. It's not about getting a, an emotion released in, in, into the air. Like if I want to get an emotion, you no know, relief, I throw a fit. You understand? I, I do a, like he said, a crazy thing. Like do a crazy fit, like a psycho bitch moment, right? 
but if I want to get a job done, get my point across, I really need to, to do it more strategically. So I think it's, it's to do with what is your end goal because people are different. We just naturally are, you know, we have our, uh, sometimes it's religious belief, political belief, sometimes upbringing, like our country culture differences um, to do with your education, to do with your job, to do with your background, to do with your parents, how your parents get on with each other, right? When you were small. There are many things we just made us so unique and not just that we could not find another person that is like us on this planet, really. Mm -hmm. And in and in a way, the partner you choose is kind of like a like a makeup for something you don't have, you know. In that way, like uh, you, you kind of complete each other it in that way. Yeah. So, on one way, you benefited from that complementing attribute that coming from your partner but in the other way you are suffering from the difference because the partner is so much different than you are but that's so, the choice every ma everybody makes once you want to enter into a partnership yes makes sense yes. it's a choice that you have to be ready to be made that's why any relationship is a continuous working in progress mm. uh, you, you understand me um, you think we made any progress over the 15 years of course we made. did you find did you think you were like, of course? <laughs> of course you have a, a progress. Uh, I know you very well and you know me pretty, you probably know me better than I do because I'm more chilled, I'm like, uh, you know, relax, relax, just uh, live the life. Uh, so, yes. Um, it's more like a journey of self-discovery right like over time because we see other people they are like a mirror for us you know how, how a mirror function you look at the mirror you know okay is my hair out of place did i you know do i look good does this color look good that's what the function of the mirror is but your partner is a human version of that mirror you get me like you can actually you can, ask apply that. you can ask your partner deeper questions like, uh, did I do it correctly? Is it the right way to think about certain things? Am I the, the person that I believe I am? You know, something more deeper to do with the behavior, to do with the other yes. things. Yes, I think because uh, what people must understand is that uh, we, we all interact uh, uh, in different levels. Oh. So, uh, public, publicly, uh, we interact uh, in uh, one way. So, when we deal with... Uh, people that okay. we uh, barely know or we know very little of, uh, this is our persona, yeah? Uh, then uh, we have our, our uh, private uh, uh, living, which yeah. is uh, uh, family, close friends. Uh, then you have your private thing where whoever is in that private area knows a, lo a lot more uh, than the public area people uh, know and then we all have uh, our mm -hmm. secret life our very deep inner uh, selves that only either we know it or maybe a close 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 partner might know parts of uh, your uh, your secret person. Make sense what I said? So you think your partner should be the one that knows your secret, like your secret person? Uh, you may not know everything, but uh, you will know uh, plenty. Mm. And by secret, I mean is uh, is truly uh, uh, your own secrets. Mm. Things that you do not share uh, with the... Uh, with even f friends, you understand, it's very private. Mm. Maybe uh, your parents will know, um, or your partner will know, but aside from that, nobody else know. Uh, it is very, very personal. So, make sense what I said? In a partnership, uh, you decide how deep you want to go, or how shallow do you want to keep the relationship. And long-term partner. We are yeah, not long, talking about yes, short-term. Long-term. 
Um, so it is you who have to decide at which level you are in that relationship. Uh, so I know Lynn uh, pretty well, uh, I, I'll say, and she knows me as well. So this keeps us bonded uh, at a much deeper level that is not an argument that is going to break apart uh, the, the deep inner emotional uh, connection that we have. Make sense what I say? You know, arguments, everybody has an argument. You get me? Don't run a company without having a problem. And you don't destroy the company just because you have a problem. Yeah, so problems keep coming left, right and center. And uh, the, the business carries on. The so show the, must go the on. The show must go on. <laughs> is it a uh, show? No. <laughs> is it, it's it's not, not a right show, analogy. But uh, not, uh, my analogy, I think, is a little bit better. Yeah. So in a business, you start your business, and uh, you always you cannot have a business uh, trouble free. Yeah. There, there is always issues. There is always problems. There is always occurrences uh, from external events. Same as in a relationship. Uh, you don't destroy a relationship just because you have an argument or you have a discussion or you don't agree on some matter. You talk through it uh, or you wait until things are uh, slightly calmer and continue the conversation and clarify it and the relationship moves on. Is but that... I think differently than you. Yeah? yeah? So how do you think? I think what you just been talking about mm. is you believe Argument is normal mm -hmm, in the yes. in the long term relationship between partners. Even in a short term relationship, then you just need to deal with it as it comes along and carry on with your relationship. That's yeah. what basically what you said. Yes. Yeah. But I I look at argument or what she was talking about, like how to avoid it or how to minimize it. Like uh, she wants mm -hmm. to. I I look at argument and then like people fight the triggers from a different perspective, like I talked about, we see the other person, your, your partner is your mirror in life. Mm. Yeah? So they can actually see your strength, your true strength and your true real shortcoming in your personality. You mean weaknesses? Yeah, weaknesses, a shortcoming, whatever you want to describe it. They can see it they are seeing it more clear than anybody you know because with people that is not your partner you can sort of fake it you can put but up that's what I just show. Said. Let, me speak. let me speak you can sort of fake it but with the partner it's like you have nowhere to hide they are interacting with you very intensely and they go through so many different things shit in life with you and they get an opportunity to see who or what you are made of. So this makes you very vulnerable to your partners. Attack, possible attack. Because when people argue, or when people get upset with each other, you don't pick the best trait of this person. When I argue with you, I don't say, oh, you're so handsome. <laughs> you understand? And I say, why are you such a problematic bitch? You understand? Then that would really hurt the other person so i think you have to think about you know an argument will come and go but afterwards you think about why you argue like this and what is it you guys argued about like things like what we did with the restaurant the fit it was insignificant enough for us to just forget about it afterwards it doesn't do anything to me and him personality he what he thinks of me what i think of him he knows sure. i'm a bitch i'm always like this so next time it happens it's gonna, probably gonna be the same shit again it's never gonna it change. happen many times you before, understand? before so so, <laughs> so it doesn't change our relationship but there are certain things that you, you keep having the friction you keep having an argument maybe there's something behind the argument that is telling you there is some fundamental uh, differences between the two. Mm. Then you need to resolve that differences in order to reduce the argument. It's and not the relationship the can avoid, continue? Yeah, I to try to avoid argument doesn't work. I, I, my experience yes. doesn't work. Is that sometimes we are like two dogs fighting with each other, but what we really needed was to eat. 
you understand, or maybe it was to some some secure shelter, and or move to a different location, or other other factors. But it's something that has nothing to do with what you're fighting about. It's to do with how you are feeling towards each other at this moment. You have built up some negative feeling towards this person at this moment that triggered anything could have triggered this fight. Like me with him on that day, I had a negative feeling towards him because I told him not to bring the dog, he had to bring the dog. I told him to search for the restaurant, he had to walk around, look for the restaurant himself. You understand that feeling? So you need to understand what was creating or triggering and maintaining the frequency of the argument. And if you can sort the root problem, I think the argument will get reduced. It really would. And, then, and, and if you have the root problem sorted out, even if you argue, nobody takes it to heart. It does not really do anything to the is a relationship. The, is a short-lived uh, issue. Yeah. I don't want to call it a problem, it's an issue. Uh, in the realm of the, the longevity of the relationship. Mm -hmm. It's just a short, uh, it's like a, a star amidst the entire universe. I think uh, if the relationship uh, is uh, built uh, on uh, truth and there is a lot of dialogue between both parties, yeah, a lot of dialogue on a regular basis, that's when you understand better the, your partner and your partner, uh, partner understands you a lot better. Um, eventually these arguments are just it's just fucking insignificant shit. You, you think it. talking will yes, of help, course. right? Of course. Sometimes we just spend a lot of time talking, and uh, mm. I know you very well. As you, as I just mentioned earlier, you know me very well, probably better than I know you, because you are a lot more logical, and I'm more. I hard think I know you better than you know yourself. Yeah. Is it really is the the argue the little arguments we have is it really that the problem, mm. or do we have some deeper problem that is causing us to continuously fight? That is what uh, you need to uh, identify. Do, uh. Yeah, identify because some people may may just have really a serious problem with the partner or the partner with the other part. You know, one or the other or both. So, uh, you have to go get to the root of what the real problem is. And only then you can decide is the relationship worth fighting for or no, this is pretty much uh, just, uh, we're just doing it for the sake of uh, being in a relationship. Then is the wrong relationship to be in. Would you That's do my... it, would you get in a relationship for the sake of uh, having a relationship? For the sake of having a relationship? Yeah. Oh, no, oh, sorry. No, no. For the sake of uh, not being alone? No. Uh, I met, when I met you, I was alone for so many years. Uh, so it's not for the sake of being alone. Mm. Uh, if you are afraid to be alone, then you have a serious fucking problem as well, let me tell you. Um, you should be able to be content and joyful with yourself. If uh, you cannot be joyful and content uh, with your own uh, person, fuck, you're not happy with nobody. You cannot be joyful and just because you are in a relationship, uh, it's not going to make you and bring you any joy. You need to be joyful Actually, from within. Relationship doesn't bring you more joy, right? It brings you tr more trouble than joy. But what relationship brings you is support. S yeah, support uh, and uh, two people that are uh, that can because build strong you foundation. Have joy already, two you don't people. need that person to bring you more joy. Yes, I don't need nobody. It's not you who's gonna bring me more joy in my life. I was joyful before I met Lynn. I'm as joyful as. Uh, oh, but uh, then what you cannot allow happen is entering a relationship but let the relationship to take joy out of you. Yes. That is, that's not good. Yes. Yeah. That, that's what I'm saying, yeah? Uh, that, uh, you know, you have to, to know yourself uh, first. For younger people, it will be very difficult to understand uh, something like this at a deeper level. You're starting level. to sound old. Uh, 
Yeah. What do you mean for younger people? Younger people, younger people, younger people are more so. clever than older people. Do you know that? The next generation is always more clever than the previous generation. Okay. So they should be able to understand. The younger the generation English. is so clever. Uh, they just want uh, a little bit of experience from yeah. the people who have already done it. <laughs> <laughs> so they still need the people that already done it. A yeah? little bit of guidance, you know. Oh, what happened? He stepped on my volleyballs. He stepped on my volleyballs. He doesn't have space. one now. He's gonna step on your one. Look at this guy, look at this guy, look at this guy, this beast, this is a beast. It's a little monkey dog, little monkey dog. What, right, stop biting. Okay, look, look, look at so the chest, look at so the chest, look at the I'm grabbing Baby, any more you wanna, you wish to discuss? Uh, you uh, think you have a little, a little chapter here for, for your view, uh, for, particularly for this lady who uh, sent in this message? Yeah. Yeah, but I think cool? what 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 why she sent me this message uh -huh. because she thought uh, we are doing well with argument. We don't argue too much, so we get mm. on very well with each other. No, we do and Okay, so let's make it clear: we do not have big argumentative fights. We have a lot of uh, lo arguments. We do. We no do fights. Not, not 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 not. I think she thought we were pretty successful <clears throat> as a couple, <clears throat> right? Uh, but I, what I wanted to explain to her is people will all come across as content and successful with each other, with their life on the surface. All of them. The happy ones, the unhappy ones on the surface will all look nice. Because you don't know what truly goes on behind doors, you know, in other p people's private life. So you have to disregard, you know, what is going on in other people's facade. Public, uh, public yeah. appearance. And then you work on your own reality, work on your own inner self and your, your own relationship. And I really don't think there's any good way to avoid a big friction, friction or argument if it's something that you truly believe is worth arguing to the other person about. It's because if you swallow, if you don't talk about it, it gets worse, it becomes toxic to yourself. So there are things, there are issues in life and in a couple's life that needs to be discussed. Like what he said, we do talk a lot, you know, mm. on a regular basis. That will automatically will avoid uh, fights because we are able to talk way before to know each other at that level, about that particular subject or matter, uh, before there is ever any, even any fight. You need to have a, a lot of transparency between each other, uh, understanding as well, uh, understanding yourself, have enough understanding of yourself, enough understanding of your partner, and for you to really m reduce the number of uh, big important argument because you guys have to be on the same page pretty much most of the time in order to avoid big argument and friction baby yes you just need to ask yourself my partner knows me on a personal and intimate like a deep intimate private level or he just knows me as the public facade that I present, yeah? At what level does my partner know me, yeah? And from there you will know if you have a strong relationship or if you have just a superficial shit, basically. It's very simple, life is so simple, man. People just complicate shit. Guys, I hope you enjoyed it. I'm done. sorry if I did not uh, from my side or from my end uh, put out the, the information the way that uh, uh, this uh, uh, lady uh, tried to ask clean. I tried my very best. Again, this is all my own personal uh, opinion and uh, way of thinking. And I'm sure same about Lynn. Yeah, that she can. Uh, yeah, this is our own private. Uh, uh, it's an informal thinking. kind of shitty chat. Yeah. Right. Yes. And like we About said, this topic. like we said in the beginning, it might not help you at all. Yeah. It's just what we believe in ourselves personally. To so make it 
strong. To make uh, our own relationship work. Yes. yes. Look at this dog. <laughs> Look at this. And this relationship work. Yes. This motherfucking relationship work. Look, look. He's just showing this. He's a monkey. He's a monkey. <laughs> monkey. Monkey, monkey. Okay, okay. We are done bye with bye. the bullshit. Thank bye you for watching. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye. What? What do you want? What do you want? What do you want? Give me kisses. 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 Give me kis